T.J. Jefferson, uh, I think we've struck a, a chord here on this program. I'm not going to lie. You think? Uh, yeah. You said let's do uh, one a day, not just the vitamin, but <laughs> let's do uh, once a day mm-hmm. until we've run through every division in the NFL, the number one player in the history of every single franchise in the NFL, division by division. Yes, no sir. Mount Rushmore. There's not four. It's just one. Just one. And so we've done it for the AFC East. And then because Craig Kilborn was here, uh, Mr. Viking fan himself, last Friday, we did the NFC North in advance of Darren Waller of the Raiders organization joining us. Let's do the AFC West. Now, this is going to be tough. Very. This was hard. I think the Broncos is going to be your easiest choice. The Chargers second easiest. Mm -hmm. Then the Chiefs will be... It's like you saw the list, but tougher, I know you haven't seen the list. Some, I mean, tougher. And then the Raiders. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. realizing that I'm going to get a lot of hatred, I think, on YouTube yeah. after. The Raiders, I think, is the easiest. Is it really? I don't know, man. There's a lot of great players in the history of the, the Raiders. Yeah, know, but only one has the most iconic Super Bowl play ever. Maybe so. I don't know. Can you choose somebody who hates the franchise? Think so. Okay, here we go. <laughs> have to. Uh, or has a major problem with the franchise? Thank you for the music. Thank you, Mike. TJ Jefferson, the floor is yours. All right, Rich, well, like you said, as we continue with this greatest players in franchise history thing we've been doing, the Broncos was indeed the easiest. A lot of great players, but ultimately came down to John Elway, put him there. Uh, as for the Chargers, mm-hmm. oh. again, tough, super tough. This one kept me up for a few hours last night, but I went with LT, LaDainian Tomlinson. Uh, For the Chiefs, it boiled down to two guys. It was Tony Gonzalez. It was the late, great Derek Thomas. This was really tough. Until about an hour ago, I had Derek Thomas there. I switched it to Tony Gonzalez. And for the Raiders, Marcus Allen, he was my pick. And that was probably the toughest one that I've had to do this entire series was the Marcus Allen. Wow. Well, Ooh. Elway was, the, uh, I agree with you. Elway's the easiest. That was As a matter of fact, uh, I believe I saw on Twitter today, Sunday Night Football retweeted into my timeline. Like, what's the number? What, who do you think of when you see the number seven in the NFL? And they just tweet out, shout it out. So I just retweeted yeah. Elway. I mean, you see the number seven, period. Yeah, for anybody. So it's Elway. I agree. I, think, Chris, if I you, think modern, though, it's probably Big Ben. But yeah, I feel you on that. Chris, if you recall, like last year, there was some quarterback stuff going around, and Elway seemed to be taking a lot of like shrapnel. And we were both like, do people forget how great John Elway I don't. was? Like, I don't. I don't understand. I, when you ask for your Mount Rushmore of yeah. quarterbacks, I put him on it. Yeah. I put him on it. And he's on the uh, NFL 100 all time team. And I didn't bat an eyelash for that at all. So, but the Chargers, you screamed, oh man, for LaDainian Tomlinson. Who are you, who are you going with instead of LaDainian Tomlinson? I think you, uh, offensive players in the history of the league. I kind of think it should be Fouts. Fouts? I think. I mean, he was kind of a great modern passer before it was a modern passing league. The other person, I, I, look, if you keep on, I, I hear people rag on my, my, Goat Joe Willie, right? Because of his, just look at his numbers. Yeah, there was a he lot. Fouts' of that. numbers were incredible for his time as well, right. and they stood up the test of time for quite some time in this passing league. But if if I would replace Ladanian Tomlinson, um, it would be with Junior Sale. And that was it. Came down to number Fouts, fifty-five Tomlinson. in your program. Right, and and Junior, yeah. Okay, so you know you could you could make that case for Sale now. I would Ask think. me about the Chiefs in 2025, 2026. Yeah, it might be different. I think it's Mahomes. I think, and basically, Rich, it came okay, down to this. I, I think Tony Gonzalez is the greatest tight end of all time, with no all question. due respect to Grunt. No doubt. Grunk, so, therefore, that's I hear you. You why can make I gave that case. the edge there. But, I mean, know. in terms of when, when, they, when they want it, 50 years. I mean, that's 50 years, a – Half century waiting, and now they are perennial Super Bowl contenders. Perennial. The Chiefs with Gonzalez didn't even win a playoff game. Play, yeah, I know. Okay, so are you so, saying would you put Mahomes there now? Look, Len I'd Dawson to, was in contention. I have to think about it. MVPs, Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl win, AFC Championship games consecutive over and over again. 
year in, year out, they lose Tyree Kill, and the only reason why you're not throwing him out is because, for well, I mean, there's a handful of reasons, but he's the primary one of them. <laughs> I mean, we're sitting here talking. Would you, if he, all right, we'll do this. If he didn't play another game, wouldn't no. Isn't he in the Hall of Fame? No, no, no. He's not? No. Hmm. I don't know, man. I know he's got to play a few more years technically, but can you tell this? You can. It's tough to tell the story of the NFL right now without mentioning Patrick Mahomes and what the Chiefs and what he's been doing for a five-year stretch, four or five-year stretch. And forevermore, people who go Ooh. from never playing to unbelievable – It'll be like, can he be like Patrick Mahomes? Henry Winkler loves him. How dare you? <laughs> he's going to give him ricotta chicken with a nice reduction. I mean, he's played four seasons. <laughs> All right. I will allow that. Chiefs so uh, what, that was what, about the, what about the Raiders? The Raiders. Oh, my I mean, gosh. You, you, the number of Alan Raiders. Got Gene Upshaw, Tim Brown, you know, Art Shell, uh, Kenny Stabler. I mean, uh, Cliff Branch, the, the list of, goes on. A lot of good Raiders. Raiders Blitnikoff, the Stork, Ted Hendricks. I mean, good Lord. There's a ton of them. Jack Tatum, Lester Hayes. I'm down with Plunkett. Marcus Allen, though. But, you know, Marcus Allen, I think it boiled down to what you said, Chris. That run in the Super Bowl is so iconic. And I know you can't just go by one play. Otherwise, Timmy Smith would be the uh, Washington football team's guy. But I don't know. Uh, Marcus Allen, again, one of the greatest to ever run the ball. Yeah, in, in addition to his right. skill as a pass catcher. Um, just super talented. But again, I, I, I'll accept all. Bl- I know. I would... back on any of these because. You know, well, one the, thing I you, you you know you know is Raider Nation has a voice and they yeah. will use it, they will utilize it, you know, and of course, just like you asked last time or two times ago when we did the AFC East, are we including coaches? Because Shula would have been that would have been the Dolphins it, over yeah. Marino, right? Right. Madden would be in the mix, <laughs> no doubt, for this conversation if we allowed coaches, and we're not doing that. Right. Because it would have been a fascinating conversation that you would have led for us if coaches were allowed and the Patriots came up. That old age conversation is which one meant more to the franchise. Hey, Brady that, or Belichick. That's not the debate. I mean, they should name the Super Bowl trophy after Bill. Well, uh, Michael Irvin has said that. Yeah. They should. Could you imagine the hue and cry from the state of Wisconsin if we were removing Lombardi's name from the trophy and put Belichick's on it? Would be a boo-hoo fest. Sorry. And as you know, I've asked Michael Irving to please the next time the Patriots <laughs> make the Super Bowl go into Bill Belichick's press conference and bounce that one off him. He might be the only person who could get away with doing it. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you who would not ask that question is me. Right. <laughs> All right. Very well done, I think. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I struggled with that one, Rich. I that struggled with that one, guys. That was, that was a tough one, and um, I can already feel just – daggers from some of these fans but again if you're a fan of these teams you have to admit every player listed has to be in your short list for greatest totally. 